Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Tesla Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk says that this robot is going to change everything. It has six peaks upgrade and Musk says that it's going to put Tesla ahead of its competitors like Boston Dynamics, Figure AI and Unitree. So that's a bold claim, but honestly, after seeing what it can do, I kind of get it. So the official launch is expected in 2026, and I think it's going to be one of the biggest tech events next year. So what's new with Gen 3? So basically it's faster, smarter, and way more like human. It moves three times faster, performs tasks twice as precisely, and also it teaches itself about just by watching people. Right now, Tesla got a few of these walking around their offices and saying hi to employees, guiding visitors, helping people find their way. So no remote control, no operator, just full autonomy. So Elon Musk even joke about that, that. It won't look like a robot. It's more like a person in a robot suit. But let's be real. Building something like this isn't easy. Musk admitted the hardest part is the hands. You know, making fingers are as flexible, as delicate as human. Uh, it's like an engineer's nightmare. So, but that's also what makes Optimus so impressive. The hands has 22 degree of freedom and sensors on every finger. It can hold an egg without cracking it or lift a heavy box without dropping it. That's amazing. And there's been a few hiccups. Some reports said that the hands were overheating and even Tesla's robotic lead uh, left the team recently. But Musk insists that it's all part of the process. Now let's talk about Neuralink. You probably heard of Musk brain chip company. Uh, the idea is to connect that chip directly to the robot. So instead of giving Optimus voice commands, you could literally control it with your mind. So no apps, no button, just think, pick up that cup and it happens. So Moss said you'd be able to see through the robot's eye and feel what it feels. So like imagine playing a video game, except the character is a real robot walking around the world. But what's Elon Musk's actual plan here? So he doesn't want a few fancy prototypes. He wants millions of these robots. He's literally uh, retooling Tesla's uh, gigafactories to mass produce hum humanoid robots. So his goal is to get the price down to around 20,000 to 30,000. So if Tesla can build millions of cars every year, why not robots? Now the way Optimus learns is super interesting. It trains using Tesla's self-driving AI system. So it sees, understands and acts just like a human. So instead of programming every move, show a video of human doing things. So the robot watch it, learn it, and then does it itself. So you can literally show it how to fold laundry, pick up trash, or make breakfast. And it learns by observing that. So Musk says that Optimus is, for now, meant to work in Tesla factories first, and then eventually come to homes, offices, and even hospitals. He's painting a future where you, your robot can clean your house, cook dinner, charge your car, and, and probably make you coffee in the morning. So imagine coming home and Optimus has already vacuumed, loaded the dishwasher, and started your playlist. So that's the world Musk wants to build, a completely connected Tesla ecosystem. Your car, your power ball, your solar panels, and now your robot. All sync through one brain. So some people say this is all hype, that other companies like Figure AI and One X already have robots doing real work right now. And that's true, but as we've seen before, Musk has a habit of taking big, crazy ideas and actually making them real. So the question is, will Optimus Gen 3 be the start of robotic revolution, or is it just another flashy prototype? Let me know what you think in the comments. And would you want one of these robots in your home? If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.